wanted to start this 2015 Sink the Planet riot at the Palace of Westminster. It's where the two houses of parliament sit, but unfortunately due to a cycling event, the roads around Westminster were closed. Make no mistake, if war and the killing of thousands suits the politicians' goals and achieve their so-called national interests, then war it is, and they will justify it using any means possible. You and I have absolutely no say, no matter what country, democratic or not, we live in. Enough talking politics, subjects I really detest. Let's talk about how you and I can achieve our own little minute version of world peace. To me, it's all about how you interact with people. Being nice and respectful is key. You leave a lasting impression and might encourage them to do the same to the next person they come across. Unfortunately, some people view compassion and love as a sign of weakness. On the contrary, it's the sign of a strong, well-grounded individual. This is especially important when you visit other countries. Take a little time to understand the local culture, interact with the people, and respect their traditions. At least learn how to greet the people in their language. I'm not saying learn the language. All I'm saying is a bonjour, ciao, hello, marhaba, etc. goes a long way. I call them icebreakers. Let me tell you this story. Some of you might remember my Morocco video where I danced and drummed with the locals. to the hotel reception to get my room key, I greeted the guy with al salamu alaikum, told him my name, he then gave me the key and said, were you just dancing with the welcoming guys outside? Yes, and loved it, I said. Then he asked for the room key back and gave me another. I didn't understand why. Once I got to the room, I was shocked. It was a massive suite with a jacuzzi, which was extremely welcomed after a nine hour hard enduro ride. The guy didn't have to do that, but he upgraded me out of the kindness of his heart, and I believe because he saw I cared about his culture and interacted with the people. Oh shit, you can see me here, huh? <laughs> Don't alienate yourself from people who are different from you. On the contrary, take a minute to view the world from their point of view. Use it to your advantage to grow as a human being. Believe me when I tell you, your life will be enriched. And by interacting and understanding them, you will also enrich their lives. Who knows, maybe the next time they meet a guy from your country, they will remember you and welcome them with the same respect and joy you showed them. It's a pleasure to know while I'm on this ride, many other bikers around the world are riding with me at the same time, all thinking about how to achieve their own little world peace. Peace, brothers and sisters, peace.